Okay, we're gonna install Raspberry Pi OS, and here is the homepage. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. What we wanna do is scroll down a little bit here. We're gonna be downloading the software for Windows, and we're gonna be doing the latest version possible. So we'll be clicking on this download option that's gonna download onto my computer. I have an SD card that's ready to roll. I'm gonna go ahead and launch this, and I'm gonna minimize this window. We'll go ahead and install the Raspberry Pi Imager setup. We'll click on install. And we'll just take a moment here. It's a pretty small file. And then we're gonna make sure this is selected so we can run it and click on finish. The first thing that we wanna do is select our device. So you're gonna be selecting the device that you have. I have the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, you select whatever is best for you. Uh, you can show every single image possible if you select this option. We're gonna be using Raspberry Pi. And then we're gonna be choosing the operating system. Now, I'm not gonna be selecting any of these. I want the lightest version possible. So I'm gonna select this last option down here at the bottom. And if you scroll down a little bit over here, you can see that we have light versions. I want a 64-bit version of the light, and we'll select that. It's 0 0.3 gigs, so 300 megs. And then we want to select the storage. So I'm going to go over here, and it's going to pull up my SD card. It's going to populate. I'm going to select that, and then we can go and click on Next. Okay, so before we continue, you can customize your settings. We're gonna click on the edit settings option over here. And this is where things can get a little interesting. You can set the preferences that you want and have this done in advance. So we have a host name that I can leave as Raspberry Pi, which is fine by me. And then we can set our username and password. This is gonna be great because you can predefine your username and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that right now. And then I can type in a username and the password. Okay, so I've set the username and password right over here. And then we can connect, if you're gonna be connecting to this to your wireless LAN, it's great to do that right now. So you're gonna go ahead and select this option and then pre-configure it. Once you have your wireless SSID typed in here and your password, you can also change the wireless LAN country. Uh, you can select whatever country that you want. I'm just gonna be using mine as US. And you can set the local settings right over here. I'm gonna leave mine as default. So these are the settings I'm selecting. If you go over to services, uh, you can enable SSH, and this is where you can type in your username and password. So if you want to enable it, which I'm going to be using that, I'm going to select that option and then use password authentication, and then you can set your own password. And then lastly, we have the option section over here. I'm going to be leaving the ones that are automatically selected, which is eject media when finished and enable telemetry. That's going to help the team out. So I'll leave that selected and then we can go ahead and click on save. And it's going to save your settings and then you can proceed with the installation. We're going to click on yes. It's letting you know that everything on your SD card is going to be erased. So uh, if you do have anything important on there, definitely back it up because once this process begins, it's going to be gone for good. So I'm okay. I'm fine with that. I'm going to click on yes. And now it's going to go ahead and write to my storage and we'll let that take place. So this will take a few minutes. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step when this has been complete. The installation is now complete and go ahead and click on continue and you can safely eject your device and plug it into your Raspberry Pi. And that's all there is to it. We've just installed the Raspberry Pi OS on a micro SD card. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.